Man, I'm present for feasts. First, giving honor and praise to God who's the head of my life for giving me another chance to correct yesterday's mistakes. Well, you know, we, we, it just, we call this a marriage made in heaven. There's no question we had to be a part of Save a Life. That's the purpose of the peacekeepers being out there in the streets. We're out there trying to save lives. And sometimes we'll put the peacekeepers in some very dangerous communities and we never want the peacekeepers or any peacekeepers to be in a position that God forbid something may happen and we wouldn't know how to make the necessary uh, uh, things to do to save that person's life. So we're very honored to be a part of the uh, Best Size uh, Save a Life Ambulance Corps. And, it, and it's, just, it's just what we do. We're happy this is their 25th anniversary. Uh, most of the peacekeepers are going through first responders training. We send in all 21 chapters through a first responder training. We believe that, you know, save a life is crucial to the business we win. So there's no question, the peacekeepers and Best Time Volunteer Ambulance Corps, that's a marriage made in heaven. We're getting ourselves prepared as, as first responders because one of the things we did learn that during two major, major disasters, one was Katrina, it was that we were not first responders or we didn't get the first response. The ninth ward and then Katrina, we got the last response. Again, here was Sandy coming up the East Coast. Again, the black community, the urban community, was got the short end of the stick. Not because people don't want to come to our aid, but because the black community or the urban community is so dissat disconnected and so divided that they don't know how to address our community. So what we did was we got a hold of the brothers who are on these bikes. They call these brothers are the ones on these dirt bikes. You see a lot of them in every community in Harlem, particularly they call the Harlem legend. Well, we figured, man, what better way to be able to train uh, our people to respond to any emergency than to take those young men and make them first responders. So we're hoping to take all of the medical, all of the bikers that's on these uh, dirt bikes and make them first responders because they'll be able to respond to certain crises in our community when the ambulance can't get there, them bikes can get there. Plus, we realize a lot of our elderly was caught up in these high-rise uh, projects and the lights was out and they wouldn't come down. So we want to make these young men who are used to being titled or prayed to take a life to be saving a life. Well, we believe not only do we have to be able to train them under being bikers, but God forbid to be a flood. So since they're in the cycle business, we're going to go from motor bikes to the doggone uh, jet skis. Then if it's snow, we're going to go to the snowmobile. In other words, we're never going to be in no position that we can't respond to a crisis in the urban community. Well, what they can do, go to our website, www.thepeacekeepers.org. Many people go to the peacekeepers, but you got to put that word, the, thepeacekeepers.org. And there you have everything on it. You can get a hold, you can leave a message, you can become a first responder, you can start getting on our sponsor page, support the work we're doing. We don't get funding by no federal government. We are funded by people who want to see the community safe. So we're very happy. Now we had, we've been, we were fortunate, we've been having 107 Keys. Uh, we have really had them do the host of Peacekeepers Road Call. But we've gone now to every, first, every last Tuesday of the month. So the 30th of July will be our next Peacekeeper Road Call. We urge everybody to come on there and just give us a shout out and let us know you're present. But we want everybody to come on and just, uh, and just dial in and just tell us what's going on in your community. Tell us the great work that you're doing to help bring peace in your neighborhood. We get an update of all the peacekeepers all the way from London, England, around the country. They tell us the great things that they're doing, the great work they're doing in saving lives. So we encourage everybody to join us on July uh, the 30th. It's on a Tuesday, and it's from 4, 5.30 until 6.30. So we're looking forward the to the Hour of Power. The, the Hour of Power is every Peacekeeper chapter, each Peacekeeper have to put an Hour of Power week. So in Brooklyn, New York, we go on Dumas and Rockway, and for one hour from three to four, all the Peacekeepers are present for peace. In every major city where we're 21 cities, Peacekeepers is on the street for one hour a week. We call it the Hour of one Power. One of our Peacekeepers told us that he was on a boat ride with uh, the great Reverend Johnny Youngblood, 25th birthday, and one of the prosecutors came over to him and said, to him, he said, hey man, you a peacekeeper? He said, yeah. He said, one of your guys wore a shirt to court. He said, now the judge was going to give him five, we was going to give him five, minimum five years. Uh, and he said, but when he stood up and the, and the judge seen that peacekeeper's shirt, he called it. He called the DA over and they decided to give him five years probation because he was a peacekeeper and he was present for peace.